Hi, I'm Emily Platt with the Wellspire Investment Team, and welcome back to Markets in Two Minutes. As election season heats up, investors often wonder how the outcome might affect their portfolios. While it's tempting to speculate about potential election results, let's focus on what really drives market performance. If we look at the table here, we see historical market performance under various government configurations. Notice the circled area, which shows average three-month performance during periods of a divided government. These periods tend to show stronger market performance compared to single-party rule. This phenomenon might seem counterintuitive at first glance. After all, wouldn't a unified government be more efficient at implementing policies? However, from a purely financial perspective, markets often prefer the checks and balances that come with divided government. It's important to note that we're not making judgments about the effectiveness of government, the state of democracy, or the impact on everyday affairs in the overall economy. Our focus here is strictly on financial context and how it relates to market performance. Markets have historically done best when there's a split government power. This could be due to several factors. A divided government often leads to more moderate policies, reducing the likelihood of changes that could unsettle markets. It can also result in gridlock, which, while frustrating from a legislative standpoint, can provide a sense of stability that markets appreciate. I note that, as you can see in the column on the right, there are questions about the statistical significance of this analysis. We haven't seen many situations of prolonged single-party rule, which limits our sample size and the reliability of these comparisons. Despite these caveats, the trend of markets favoring divided government is a pattern worth noting for investors, even if it's not a definitive predictor of market performance. What's more important is on the next slide, which illustrates what truly matters to markets, economic growth and inflation trends. In every scenario shown here, there is statistical significance due to the volume of historical data. Notice that markets perform best when economic growth is rising and inflation is falling or stable. This combination creates an ideal environment for corporate profitability and investor confidence. Conversely, markets struggle during economic contractions or periods of rising inflation, as we experienced in 2022. While elections capture headlines, markets are ultimately more concerned with economic fluctuations than political party control. Investors should focus on indicators of growth and inflation rather than election outcomes when making long-term investment decisions. A well-diversified portfolio aligned with your financial goals is typically the best strategy for navigating market fluctuations, regardless of the political landscape. With that, thank you for listening to this month's Markets in Two Minutes.